So we got a call for a truck or an SUV, something that stuck out the sand hollow. Apparently it's disabled, so it's going to be a dead pole. So we got the banana and we got the Moravair back there. Jamie's driving that. Hey, we're in the Moravair. We're pulling the trailer. I think it's a vehicle stuck in the water and it must be disabled. And then we've got to load it on the trailer and take it to the customer's house. So that's what's happening today. We've got Trevor with the weather. It's a beautiful day. It's like 65 degrees right now. It's probably going to get up to like 85. No wind for once. Not yet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. But it's pretty nice. So we live in a town called Hurricane, but we call it Hurricane because it's the British pronunciation. It's a name well deserved because of the wind. What do you got to say, Lizzie? I got some chips. You want to tell a story of how you got in this predicament? Apparently my son and his buddies decided last night to go off-roading in a vehicle that shouldn't be going off-roading. So thus we need you oh. to get him out of the red dirt at this point. Sounds like a typical kid predicament. Doesn't it though? My husband works at Stephen Wade Jeep and he said there's only one person that's going to get him out called Matt's off-road. Oh, right on. Got it. Good. <laughs> Will do. Don't break a nail. Yeah, just give me a soft shackle. Okay, Lizzie, get the keys and get yourself familiar with this vehicle. And remember to do all the things. Like, all the way around? Or are you gonna yeah, go we're gonna go, way? yeah, we're gonna sneak up through there. Okay. Just follow me. Trevor, you're an animal. Uh, 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 uh. How you doing, Tucker? Fine. This is how I normally breathe. No, just drive. You just drive straight out the of there. The legs are like jelly. Tucker with the assist. Whatever you do, don't go right though. And then we're going to put these straps on here from these hooks to the car body. 
So when this goes tight, Lizzie, I need you to put it in park and set the park brake once I stop. So did this go in the lake then? From what I understand, the boys went through that one edge, yeah. you know what I'm talking about, and when they came out of it, it died. And so they called us up last night and they're like, I'm like, did you bury it? And they're like, yeah. And then I got here this morning. I'm like, no, you didn't. You went through the lake. So we tried to explain to him that uh, lakes are for boats. He thought it was fjord instead of fjord. All right. All right. Okay, we'll follow you then. Okay. Did not look that uh, steep. Well, at least we didn't roll it, right? Yeah. All right. So it's looking like they took it in the water. There's water all over the floorboard and stuff. So that's probably why it's not running. We're gonna be dropping it off at the customer's house. That's where we're headed next. So you'll probably notice that we didn't run out of gas this time. So I expect all of you that notice when we do run out of gas and are very critical, I expect you to get on here and be very polite and give us the compliments we deserve. Right. Even if it's condescending compliments, we'll take them. So tell us a little bit about Dixie Springs. What are they oh, building here? The All Abilities Park that we've been raising money for that you guys have been helping us with goes here in this little community of Dixie Springs. The park actually sits right at the base of the dam. Oh, does it? Yeah. So hopefully it doesn't ever break. <laughs> here you go. You guys are amazing. All right, one more little hash mark up here. That's 31 jobs completed since we got it back from Robbie from the paint. And I know you haven't seen this many videos. We don't film every job we do. We have a lot of routine jobs that are just not worth filming. So most of those are razors. <laughs> so we got a call for a vehicle that is stranded out here, technically on the Arizona Strip. The customer drove in yesterday afternoon and got kind of ledged up. Didn't want to continue forward and didn't want to turn around and go back the way he came. So we're heading out here to see if we can find it and see if we can get it out of here. It is a very nice day, no wind. I'm gonna probably get up to 80 degrees today and we left pretty early this morning and I am very tired because I decided to stay out way too late playing volleyball last night. Did you play some volleyball? No, I don't jump. I mean, I can jump. I don't jump. So we met the customer this morning at a gas station. We got the keys to the vehicle. I don't even know what it is. What does it say? Honda, Yamaha, Polaris, Arctic Cat. I don't know what it is. The road we're on is pretty primitive and I bet you it's gonna get more so. We'll get them out. particular brand of machine is this? It's just a prowler. I think it's just, yeah, it might just be a prowler. Is there a road up here? On the Google Earth view, it looks like there is a road right up here. Oh, and there is. <laughs> Let's see if it'll drive up there, Lizzie. Back it down here. Look at that column shift. Look at that. Yeah. That's amazing. But I can't. gotta hug this side i need the back wheels to brush that bush right there see that bush yeah okay stop we'll hook you up
where the customer lives is in a place called Sun River. I don't know what the development is, but I don't know if there's a way to get from here to there legally. So we're gonna go figure it out. That's all we can do. Okay, Lizzie, follow us out of here. that door do not get along. Hey Doug, this is Matt. Yeah. Hey, so we're here at this chain, like the chain that's across the road. Did you just did you just drive that thing out of there? Well, uh, practically. There's a there's a bypass for where you were. There's a sign here that says authorized personnel only. Yeah, I just undo that on that one side and then just hit the... You're taking full responsibility for giving me authorization. Yeah, we go oh. through there all the time. Okay. Really with a winch <laughs> we got him out okay appreciate it that was definitely wasn't as big a deal as i thought it was going to be i came kind of loaded for bear and all we got was a squirrel but back in time for breakfast thanks for watching tucker told me not to break an l and i broke an l <laughs>